you, thank you for your grace, thank you for your mercy, thank you for the few moments, few words that we're going to share today, and I believe you want us to, to talk, Lord God, as uh, we already give the first Samuel 12, as you, how you talk to Samuel and how the people of Israel, they rebel against you, and sometimes as your children, we keep going in the same pattern, but Lord God, even as I share a few words, to edify your children, to, to edify us. Lord God, help us to understand so we can know to grow ourselves deeper in you. And then, Seigneur, pour nous approcher, pour nous approcher plus près de nous-mêmes, pour nous rester ancrés en dedans. Help us, Father. Hallelujah, as we share a few moments. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your heart, in your sight. In Jesus' amen. name, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Uh, I said we will uh, we'll share really growing in Christ. Growing in Christ. I've already grandi in Christ. Growing in Christ. So the Bible says once we trusted in Christ, Christ is our Savior. So once we trusted in Christ, it's one that accepts Christ as our Lord and Savior. You accept Christ, you say you can accept Christ comme sauveur personnel. You accept Christ as your Lord and Savior to grow in a relationship with Christ. Once you accept Christ, you have to grow. If you say that you accept Christ and then there is no growth, you have to do a self, you and I, we have to do a self assessment to say, ever since that I've been following Christ. Did I make any progress? Am I making any 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 advancement in the kingdom? Jesus is called the Good Shepherd. It's not for any reason they call Jesus the Good Shepherd. Nobody else can take the place as the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd. You all know some. 23 that says the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. So once you accept Christ Amen. as your Lord and Savior, Jesus become your shepherd. And when he is your shepherd, as the sheep, what do we do? We have to walk and follow the step of the shepherd. You and I, do we do this? In prayer, in prayer, sometimes we only. But once we leave prayer time, when we're reading the word, we ask God to help us to understand the word. Then I pray, no more de bon Dieu pour l'aider nous comprendre. And I pray, no more de bon Dieu, bon Dieu avec nous, nous rester dans la simplicité, nous rester dans la fidélité, nous rester dans l'humilité. But once we, le, 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 once we leave the prayer zone, once we leave the Bible that we are reading, the minute we are at work or we are talking to another human being, do we still apply that Christian that we profess that we want to follow? Do we still apply that love or the way God wants us to go in his kingdom? As I already said, I will not be long growing in Christ. If you accept Christ and you never open your Bible, how do you expect you're going to grow? Because the Bible is the book that God left us. I don't know about you. If I feel back on back on let me sort him down. When I feel down, let me sort him by bomb, sort him troublé. When I feel troubled, I take the Bible, I take a psalm, I take a verse. And when I start reading it, reading it, meditate on it, ponder it, I'm sorting my Lord I'm my Lord John. I'm sorting my Lord John. I'm sorting my Lord John. La parole de Dieu, c'est la vie. Ou pas qu'à dire, ou accepter Christ, ou voulez faire Christ. But your Bible. It's dusty because you never open it the whole week. 
to read something about it. You and I, when we don't feel good, what do we do? Do we call a friend? Est-ce que nous allons nos amis? Est-ce que nous allons nos familles? Ou bien est-ce que we go directly to the source, which is the good shepherd? Because he said, L'éternel est mon berger, je ne manquerai de rien. Et ça le dit. He is the good shepherd. Once you have that good shepherd with you, he said, you lack nothing. Growing in Christ. Grandi en Christ. C'est ça le dit. Growing in Christ. Grandi en Christ. Pour grandir en Christ, ou quatre ans de prier notre monde, on ka fait prier, on voue pour vous. On l'autre monde ka parle dans la TV ou bien quel que soit mon nom. Mais est-ce que vous même, do you take some time to read the Bible and talk to God according to the same word you have just read? Est-ce que même, parole sur ce lien, et sur le code bon Dieu, pour dire c'est vous même qui dit, you go to God to say, you the one who told me that you are my shepherd, I lack nothing. Do you go and tell God that same word? So, if you want to grow in Christ, you have to be able to serve Christ. How do you serve Christ? How do you grow in Christ? Comment on grow? Well, no. In the Bible, we have to go to some men. In John 10, in John 10, Jésus dit, « My sheep, listen to my voice. » So, so do you believe God, dear Christ? If you want to go in Christ, and Christ say, « My sheep, listen to my voice. » And you know, in prayer, in reading the word, you hear that still voice that talk to you and say, « Nadia, don't go there today. » Lens, you don't do this today. You ignore the voice completely. Are you someone who wants to grow in Christ? Someone who wants to grow in Christ is someone who listens to the Good Shepherd's voice and apply it. You and I, the moment we listen to God's voice, when He tells us to do something, and then we ignore it completely, but when we come to pray, then we pray in the pray in the model. We submit, we we do not remain, we do not solve, we do not solve them. But at that moment, God did find the solve the thing for us. Even if He was not with us, we waited. When God finished to do everything that He wants to do for us, He talks to us. But we put a deaf ear. And the still voice said to, to you, Nadia, don't go to the office today. Don't go, many times he said, don't go today. Because sometimes when you trust God and God is talking to you, he has a reason. He has a reason when he talks to you, when he said, don't go there. He's trying to prevent you from getting to maybe a little altercation or maybe something that will happen. Same is today, call out. It's not a day to be at work, even though it's a work day. You know, that's what it means to be growing in Christ. Growing in Christ means sometimes we have to forget for oublier what desire share no. We have to forget, forget our own fleshly desires. This book the Samuel sur la royauté. We're reading right now on 1 Samuel 12. We'll just read the first verse. Samuel dit à tout, dit à tout Israël, Voici, j'ai écouté votre voix dans tout ce que vous m'avez dit et j'ai établi un roi sur vous. In 1 Samuel Chapter 12. Samuel says in a speech, say, I listen to the voice. You know, and he wanted to do 
what the voice of the Lord tell him. It says in the scripture, he read the words of yet another person who desired that his people would turn to God in his farewell address to all Israel. Chesa Samuel Tabdi, the prophet, the priest, and judge. Samuel said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. You know, when you want to grow in Christ, you will not live a life of fear. Ou pas vivre une vie dans la peur. Lovely. Réellement. Servi. Bon Dieu. C'est ça, Samuel. Tab dit. Lovely. Servi. Bon Dieu. Tout bon pour vous grandir. Ou pas qu'à même moun. You cannot be the same person you were 10 years, 20 years ago. In order to go in God, you have to decide that you're going to live a life of repentance. Pour qu'à quoi grandir, faut repent. Parce que sans te confier à bon Dieu, pas de plaisir. What you used to do, God didn't like. You have to repent. Repentance is the only way back to God. Unless you repent, the Bible says that you will all perish. It doesn't matter one day that you say, I trust God, I accept God. But if you don't repent, you're still doing the same thing you used to do. And you say, yeah, I go to church every day. I do this. I do this for that person. I do that. Bible said, no, not one is good. Only God is good. As I quoted for you before, comme démentionné, nous tous péchés et nous privés. Nous sommes tous pécheurs et sont privés de la gloire de Dieu. Nous péchés contre bon Dieu. We all sin and miss the mark of his standard. Standard bon Dieu a pas changé. No, the standard of God doesn't change. Because God wants us to grow in Him. The minute we accept Him, He wants us to grow. How do you grow? You have to read the Word. If you decide that Jesus is your good shepherd, if you say Jesus is your good shepherd, is your shepherd, you have to ask Him, Lord, I want to hear your voice. When you talk to me, not only I want to hear it, but I want to put it into practice. I want to put that voice, what I hear, the message that you have, you know, that you have conveyed to me into practice. Because once you decide to go in Christ, believe me, you're going to hear that God voice, that good shepherd talk to you. God's going to talk to you. He's going to talk to me if we walk with him. If we walk with him, you know, he's going to talk to us. When you look at 2 Timothy 3.16, he speak to us through his own words. When we want to go in Christ, this is how he's going to reveal himself to us in his word. And we're going to learn to talk. We talk to God. As when we talk to God, he will give us his understanding. And as we learn to respond to him with the affections and needs of our hearts. You know, bon Dieu, mal répond, nous la répond, moi, et nous apprend. A parler avec, comme on parle avec, dans la parole. We talk to God, we respond to God, to His words. He talk to us with His word, and we talk back to Him according to His words. And the more we talk to Him, plus que nous parle avec, c'est plus que nous apprenons à des voix bon Dieu. C'est qu'on ça vraiment nous capable de grandir en Christ. This is how we can. Apply ourselves to grow in Christ. To grow in Christ, we have to really make Jesus the good shepherd. And he says the good shepherd knows his voice. Because we will know that he gives his life for us. And when he gives his life for us, there is nothing he would not do for you and for me when we made up our mind. Nous prenons la décision pour nous servir, mon Dieu, vraiment dans la fidélité. 
There is nothing God will not do for us. When we decide, we say, I'm not just going to listen to the word, but I'm going to put the word into practice. There is nothing God will not do for you and for me if we walk in the faithfulness toward God. We have to learn to start putting the word of God into practice. As we read, we meditate on the word, and it talks to us, and we learn to hear and listen that still voice. Et la plie parole là, parfois ou, ou senti l'Esprit bon Dieu par la voix. Et pour apprendre tendez. Et l'on tendez pour faire. C'est même je l'on lit par ça et ça n'est là. C'est de la tournée sur les pour Parce que nous ne pas les forcer, voir en plus. Il doit le faire sa voix. Tout le monde soudé. Samuel est parlé. On prend Israël et tout. On est tête de Dieu et de Et bon Dieu, tout l'on red. L'on tête ou pas tendez. Soit on prend ses paroles. Woman, when you, when God talks to you, you know the same God that the same God that, that was there yesterday is the same God today and forevermore. When we think we're going to do something <laughs> and it's going to hurt God, and in the end, the same God that says He loves us, but He's the same God is going to judge us when He tells us to do something and then we don't want to do it. We want to continue to do our own thing, but we want the blessing of God. You and I, if we want to go in Christ, let's start putting the word of God into application. And we will go in faithfulness, and the Lord will learn to talk to us. Now continue to march, now grow in the parole, now apply the parole, and then now grow in the fidelity of Dieu. And bon Dieu will respond to même là où on va répondre, c'est-à-dire que les gens connaissent ce qui est bon pour nous. Même quand vous pensez que Dieu n'a pas répondu, il sait exactement ce qui est bon pour vous et pour moi. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Que Dieu vous bénisse.